your arms on my head. Oh, hi. Oh, shit. We're just friends. Did you stick this in my hand when I was asleep? Yeah. <coughs> okay. Hello. Work, work, work. <sighs> okay. Do you want to go first? No, you go first. Really? Yeah. Um, if you have to choose between two things, which one would you choose? Okay. Should I ask you and then you? Okay. Yeah. Really? Yeah, let's go back and forth. You ask me and ask you. Okay. Beer or wine? Beer. Beer or wine. Wine. Wine? Yeah, I know. That's true. Oh, that's a good one. You should drink more beer. <laughs> no, let me get the second one. Let me get the second one. Okay, go. Um, now you ask me one. Okay, uh, this is a good one. I know you want to know this. Tina or Jody? Tina. Yeah, I agree. Tina. Okay. Um, spaghetti or pizza? Spaghetti. Me too. Really? Yeah. Yeah, you, you don't eat yeah, you don't eat a I mean, it's okay. okay. Um. TV show or film? Film. TV. TV? Yeah. Okay. What kind of person do you think Shane will be in 50 years? Has she settled down by then, or is she a player of the retirement <laughs> home? <laughs> That's funny. That's so good. Uh, I, could see, I could see her being in a low-income housing nursing home. <laughs> okay. So she's done well for herself. <laughs> yeah, she's done really well. And she also has bad hips. <laughs> right, because your bones are clanking against each other. <laughs> like... All right, if you were to create a backstory for Shane and Alice's friendship, what would it be? Um, yeah. um, we never did that, did we? <laughs> <laughs> Do we even have a friendship anymore? I know. Um, God, I think that would be... We should have probably done that before we started on the first season. What, created a good backstory? Yeah. <laughs> Who knew we'd be such good friends? I know. Um, um, okay. We might have to come back to that. Okay. We'll come back to it. I was wondering, how far along are you girls with the album, and when do you think we can expect to hear a new single and possibly a live show? I'd like to know when you're live okay. show. Um, we have an EP that we're writing that's going to be out in... What's an EP? Was, like, five songs. Okay. So it's like before now. Okay. Um, and that's going to come out... Um, what month is it? May. At the end of May. You're going to have it by the end of May? Yeah, but it, you'll just be able to buy it digitally. So you, well, can I have you it for free? It, yeah. <laughs> so that's gonna happen, and then we're gonna play live hopefully by the time the show's over. Where are you gonna so play? The fall. Where would you like to play live? Everywhere, but I guess we'll start here. Right. How in the world do you prepare for a sex scene between you and another cast member of the Word? How do you guys stay calm and not get nervous? I'd love to give you the real answer to that <laughs> question, but I don't think I can. <laughs> um, uh, I, I, I think. I think it depends how well you know someone. Exactly, and I think also who's directing it makes a huge impact. Huge. Because I know that our crew, I think they're so used to it because we've had the same crew for, like since the beginning. So we're doing the last scene. They're so scene. tired of all of <laughs> like, 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 like you'll see Neil behind the camera. He's all. Yes. <laughs> but I think it's most. I, it's hard. I think it's hard. You didn't get to do this, but I have to do this. Seeing what? Like having love scenes with extras. No, I didn't. That's I awful. Did, well. It's Not awful. extras, but people that were only on the show for like a second. Yeah, people who like showed up that afternoon and shook hands with them before you know it, you're naked and in bed with them. No, it wasn't that. I haven't had it. Well, you had the vampire. Right, but she was on for a couple of so so I've had like, you know, little tiny arcs. People. Right. It's, uh, it's yeah, but I, yeah, for, it's with they're strangers. Yeah, completely. And then you have to ask like, what feel? What, what do you want covered? Mm -hmm. And you have to like do the whole polite jargon. How comfortable and, are you? Yeah, and you're hoping to God they're just going to say just go yeah, for go it. Yeah, go for it. Who cares? Yeah. But even then, you're like, you're still nervous to go yeah. for it. You don't know who they are. <laughs> okay, let's figure out our backstory. Shane and Alice's friendship. Um, well, I don't think we ever slept together. No. I don't think we so. We definitely I think you and I are like the two people that we get along, and we've never crossed those lines. Right. It's always been platonic. Right. And I think if anything would ever happen, it would, would have been like on a drunken night, we would have just made out. I think it's more, I think you and I would have, if we did, I think we would have taken ecstasy together. Right. And been like, fuck it. We would have wound up taking a bath and laughing. Taking a bath. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it would have been. But, our, but that didn't happen, so what is our backstory? That could be part... No, I guess it's not part of our backstory. Um, I, I feel like we met 
I bet you. Through a mutual friend, but neither one of us are friends with that friend anymore. Yeah. And like, you were like, <laughs> yeah, I like you too. No, no, no. I was actually, I'm going to contradict you. I think that we met through somebody that, it's true, we both of us no longer talk to any longer, but when you and I first met, we didn't really like each other. Because you're very, because your character is very, very smart and perceptive, right. as is mine, and so we're both sussing each other out. Yeah, yeah. And finally, that. like, we fused together, and that one person that we met through was all like, kicked out. Yeah, totally. <laughs> See, yeah. Like, um, yeah, I think there's a lot of spoken, unspoken trust, and, uh, it's like one of those, I, I, you know. Like, I think you'll be there forever. Like, when you're in the old folks' home, you're like, visit. I'll bring your, your medicine to you that you need for your bones. Because <laughs> you, you can still walk. I'll go with my really rich tie-ins. Like, <laughs> no, I'm going to have, no, I think I'll have, like, like a, some sort of servant. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're going to be in totally different situations. Yeah, you know, I'll so, offer for you to come stay at my family's yeah, pet. And you invite me over for Thanksgiving and Easter and whatnot. Right. But you don't want to, you don't want to, like, impose on I me. smoke opium for the pain. <laughs> <laughs>